Somebody wanted me to get my hair cut on camera for YouTube. I don't know who that was, I can't remember. I'm not sure if it was a guy or a girl, but they're like, Hey, I love your haircut. Will you cut it for us on YouTube so I can watch it? I'm just like, hmm. No, I'm probably not going to cut my hair on YouTube. I'm terribly sorry. It's just, I mean, who really is going to be interested in me getting a haircut? Nobody. Nobody would be interested in seeing that. Moving on. Barack Obama got reelected. I know today's like the... 8th or 9th, I think it's the 9th, yes, and he got elected on the 6th, I've been a little lazy, slacking, I've been busy, working hard, 10 hour days, hauling lumber, lots of fun. Anyway, I, I expected he was going to get re-elected, uh, a few days prior, I'm like, you know what, Barack Obama is totally going to get re-elected, boom he is, it had nothing to do, okay, it had everything to do with the fact that he is related to a majority of US presidents prior to him, and George W. Bush, and also related to the royal family, but it was more of just the... You know, Mitt Romney is just too much of a pretend president to get reelected. And plus, Obama's promises, again, sounded really good. This whole, we want to get troops out of the Middle East, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to improve this and that. He made, I think in the month of September, or October, something like that, he supposedly created something like 160,000 new jobs in the States. So that's, that's impressive. Whereas Mitt Romney... You know, he's a millionaire who's probably never really had to work a day in his life. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And, you know, if Hurricane Sandy's threatening your home, re re retreat to your second or third home. So, you know, it really wasn't the best. So Barack Obama's in. Now, what does this mean for the United States of America and the rest of the world? I'm not entirely sure yet. It's all going to play by ear. But uh, I'm reading an interesting book called The Secret Terrorist. And it all talks about how Jesuits... Uh, Basically, like, one of the more secretive, organized uh, underground groups of the world that are trying to gain supremacy of the world uh, underneath the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church from the Vatican. So they basically want to put in one world government with the Pope as the head under Christ rule. And so I don't know exactly what the Jesuits rule in is in Barack Obama, but they have set up, apparently, uh, Israel and Palestine for the Jews, what was it, how was it goes? Israel for the Jews, but they're being attacked by the Arabs and always fighting the Palestinians and always being attacked by everyone else. Apparently, in response to an earlier video of mine, why does everyone hate Israel? Like, why does everyone hate the Jews? Apparently it's because the Pope hates the Jews and the Jesuits have done everything for the past couple hundred years to make sure that Jews are exterminated. Same with uh, Orthodox Christians and Protestants. So they've been waging war, a Catholic Church has been waging war against all of these. Very interesting, the Catholic Church uh, supported Hitler, and that one Italian whose name I can't remember right now, Mussolini something, uh, he's really bad apparently, I can't remember what, what, what happened with him, but the Jesuits are supposedly involved in all of these, including groups like the Illuminati, and they're also heavily involved in the setting up of the Federal Reserve, which apparently prints up a billion dollars, like they, the American government's like, hey, Federal Reserve, we need a billion dollars, Federal Reserve's like, okay. They go to the printing press, say, hey, we need a billion dollars, here's two thousand dollars to print up a billion dollars worth of bills, or whatever it costs. Then they take the billion dollars, lend it to the American government, then the American government has to pay back the billion dollars to the Federal Reserve, not to the printing press, so the Federal Reserve makes a billion dollars, plus whatever interest uh, is accrued on the, that payment, interestingly enough. So they make a billion, so make a dollar plus interest for every dollar that the American government borrows, but they just make money out of nowhere. So they, they literally just make a dollar plus interest. From, from the American people, it's hilarious, it's funny. And I imagine the Canadian bank somewhat works in a similar manner now. Uh, but Barack Obama re-elected the NDAA, he promised uh, way back when that he would not allow the NDAA under his government to be used. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how many times it's been used since it's been put in. I, I think there's been a several several accounts at least where it has been. Same with uh, Gitmo, Guantanamo, Guant Guantanamo Bay, that would be closed, is now going to stay open indefinitely. And you can just be kidnapped and thrown in there because you're suspect, who knows. Just like, but terrifying times ahead of us. Anyway, so I, I personally, between you and me, I would rather Barack Obama be president, I think, than Mitt Romney. Uh, the way it was sounding between some of the debates between the two, Mitt Romney was wanting to go to war right away. Like, if I get in, man... Like, we're going to wipe Iran off the face of the map. Like, we're going to go, we're going to increase military says and go after every single bad guy on the planet. Like, all this other stuff. Just like, oh, that sounds like a lot of war from a rich boy. 
Whereas Barack Obama was like, we want to bring troops home. Yes, we're putting sanctions against Iran. Yes, we likely will go to war with them, but right now we're not really planning on it publicly. So interesting thing. So Barack Obama won. It's like, huzzah. I personally still believe in the whole thing that America would be brought to ruin by a black man. And that's why Barack Obama is currently still president. Because he's somewhat black. And it's going to spark some kind of crazy race and war and everything when Barack Obama just like fucks everything up and collapses the government. I mean, you're already $14 trillion in debt. How much more in debt can you go before the system just stops working? And so eventually we'll see. But I think it's because he's black that he will ruin the system. I'm not racist at all, but I think that's what they're planning. It's like, we'll put a black man in, the only black man. He'll ruin everything, and then everyone will be like, fucking black people, man. They ruined everything, even though it was only one guy. But people tend to have that. Same with, like, uh, Osama bin Laden. He was Middle East. He was whatever religion, was Muslim or something, I can't remember. But then now everyone's like, oh, these people are bad. Like, oh, every Middle Eastern's a terrorist, blah, blah, blah. And then Kony 2012, like, one single warlord decided to take on the Hooligandan government, whatever, and kidnap children and make them kill their parents. And everyone's like, oh my god, black people are from Africa are bad. And like, oh, they're adult terrorists and child stealers and rapists, all this other terrorist stuff. So it's like they're creating division. How many times do you see white man? Bad, bad white man, and it gets global attention about how bad and evil and things he is. I remember the last big one I can remember personally was Hitler, because he was the only one I really heard about. Now, like, yeah, sure, Bernie Mac or Madoff, whatever, I think it was Bernie Mac, went to jail for the 2008 Wall Street ripoff and things like that. But you never see, like, oh, well, uh, you know, say President Bush slaughtered 170,000, you know, uh, Iraqis or something like that. Oh, he's, you know, should be charged for war crimes and the whole world should go against him. Things like that. You never see things like that. Never. Or the royal family, but, like, how many people they've killed or enslaved. No, things like that go on path. Or... Uh, passed by. Why? Because the media is owned by white people. I'm not racist. I'm only the funny kind of racist, which isn't really racist. It's like, I'll tell black jokes or Mexican jokes, but I'll also tell white jokes, but I don't really hear so many white jokes because I have white circles. I don't know a lot of colored or any other you know, nationalities, except for YouTube. YouTube is where I meet all kinds of people from all over the world. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, purple, or orange. You know, if you're purple or orange, I think we might have a problem. I mean, who's purple? Orange, I could kind of maybe see some orange skins, but purple is just weird. But, you know, we're all one here on the internet. It doesn't matter. We're, they're just words. There are no nationalities. But they want us to have more division. That's why they hate the internet, because, hey, you're all uniting through the internet. This is terrible. We can't have this. You can't bypass race and nationality and, and the media propaganda. If you're all connecting on the internet, this is bad. Quick, blockade the internet. And to which Barack Obama might do, who knows? But anyway, happy election. Uh, I see that it is snowing and freezing where Hurricane Sandy hit all around there. Don't know exact locations. All I know is it's cold. So I sincerely hope that all of you guys that are down in that area or know someone that is down in that area are doing well, uh, that you're getting by okay. Uh, peace and love. I will see you guys all soon, hopefully tomorrow or Sunday with Coffee Time with Mr. Philosophical Brony. Peace, my friends.